Hey guys. All right. So I've seen some of these videos. So I know there's a lot of people who look up questions about it and stuff. So tomorrow morning I am getting surgery for my pectus excavatum. I have already had the surgery done before. So I think it's really good to maybe put in here some answers that I know I look for, such as the first procedure I had was 10 years ago. Um, actually nine years ago, I had the NUS done. This time I'm getting kind of the NUS with a modified ravage, all of it, um, because I'm going to have two bars instead of one this time and also the open chest, like the ravage down the middle um, to remove some cartilage from my sternum. Um, because it's going to be too stiff. Uh, the surgery didn't, it failed, which is weird because it failed like nine years later, but it's back down to what it was. If I can figure out how to post pictures, I'm going to stick some before pictures in the end of this video. If not, I'm going to post a picture video anyways, because I'm going to take before and after pictures. Um, so the first time around, it's midnight right now. I'm having, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. to go down to Mass General, um, and scared. <laughs> um, the first time, it's weird. I mean, I'm scared, but I think I've already, I haven't done exactly this surgery. It's different, whatever. Chest surgery is always going to be scary, but at the same time, I think at this point, my spirit is more get in there so I can like be asleep and just wake up and then just deal with the recovery. Um, uh, with the NUS, for those of you looking for answers for going into the NUS, um, I'm hoping actually with the Ravage it's going to be a little less painful recovery. The NUS was pretty horrible in the beginning. Just I had complications, whereas we didn't know I was allergic to morphine. So you shouldn't feel much when you wake up. So anybody else probably won't. I was in a lot of pain, so I would hit my button when I woke up, but that would make me like projectile vomit, and I just kept doing it because none of us knew what was going on. We just thought I was sick from surgery, but no, I was allergic. So I switched my meds, and I was pretty good after that. Um, my bar, I think, was like rejecting at first, which w sucked. That was more pain complications, so I stayed a little longer. I think I stayed like a week, maybe a little over a week. Um, recovery was not fun because I, th I feel like with the NUS, it's just literally like picking up your chest and putting all that pressure onto a bar. So it's almost like a Mack truck sitting on your chest. That's the feeling that you kind of adapt to. Like, I'm just being honest. I know that's probably not what you want to hear. Um, it's more of an adapting feeling. It's kind of like a, one of those things that just nag at you. So you have to learn really how to deal with it. Do your long exercises, definitely. Um, and get up and walk around. That was I think that was my hardest part of recovery is getting myself to get up and move around the house because you don't want to. You feel like you're going to pass out. You can't breathe. If you sit up for too long, you literally just feel like you cannot breathe anymore. Like you're being suffocated. So you want to lay down. No, that means like... Your body's working with you. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta get up and walk around. It took me a real like months to be able to normally walk around. After though, I was really, it wasn't really bad. Um, sucks that it failed. So I'll let you know how it feels to. I'm gonna take a video when I wake up. Um, I'm gonna try and make like videos all the way through so you strictly for you guys to be able to see every step of the process and I'll be honest about everything I feel and whatever. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm just going to be sitting in the hospital with my computer. I mean, you do all kinds of fun stuff, so wish me luck. I'm nervous. I don't really want to go. Um, I didn't really answer any questions. I don't really know any questions there could be, so... Good luck for everybody else that's getting it. And if you're wondering if you should get it, then yeah, you should totally get it because the pain isn't honestly 
something that would make me ever change my mind about getting it. Um, it's definitely worth getting it. How you feel after? It's just, I guess, the buildup. So just book it. I just didn't pay attention to my surgery date. I just let it come, and now I'm nervous as the night before, but I just want to get there and get it done. So definitely get it. It's worth it.